Hi everyone, it's Caitlin from Really Big Plant, and for today's video, we're doing something kind of different. Really big plant. See the pink princess philodendron. We are in the San Francisco Conservatory of Flowers, and it's been well over a year since I've been in here. They were closed down for a while, so I'm really excited to be back in here and to just be showing you around. So right now I'm standing in front of some of their Medanilla flowers, which are in bloom, and I just think it's so beautiful. Um, so we're going to just take a look around here today and see what we bought. Let's get to it. Look at this rattlesnake aladia. Look at how big it is. I'm not going to touch it, but... Bromeliad flower. Oh, look! Some little, are those little bulbophyllums? I think so. I did definitely work in there. We know this one. That's, that's just a phalaenopsis orchid. I mean, not just a phalaenopsis, but I know what it is. Huge philodendron. <laughs> Wow. Okay, these are all orchids. And the pitcher plants. Oh, look at the pitcher plants. Those pitchers. Oh, look at these ones. So cool. Oh, look at this Dracula orchid in bloom. They have monkey faces. Ah, oh, things are dripping on my head. Like we're really in the wild. I think this is that bulbophyllum. Oh, look, this bulbophyllum odontopetalum, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Odonta something. I'm gonna show this to my little bulbophyllum, like they're gonna be that big someday. Here. So this this green wall is really amazing and actually like potentially more replicable than other walls in these installations we've been looking at um, for home growers because most of these are honestly actually just house plants. Um, some of them are kind of expensive ones. You know, you've got your philodendron gloriosum, but then you also have really basic syngoniums and you've got some begonias and. Sarpeggia woodii string of hearts in there. Got some aglionemas. And what else is in here? We've got some stromanthi. Um, and see, there's a bunch of anthuriums over here. Uh, peace lily leaves, it looks like. And then we've got bromeliads down here, as well as. Some zebra plants, uh, yeah. zebra plants, and I thought I saw some pothos in here too. We also have some philodendron solums and some nepenthes pitcher plants. Got the black pagoda lipstick plant in there, Asianthus. Very nice. Oh, I think this is that philodendron rugosum. So we saw it way bigger inside the conservatory, but this is a small specimen. Oh, how did I miss it? Look, a pink princess. And scanning back over here, we've got some watermelon peperomia, peperomia polybotria. So much good stuff in here. Basically, I feel like if I took all of my plants and put them into a big wall, 
I mean, it wouldn't look as good as this, but <laughs> maybe something sort of like it. These plants are so cool, all the aquatic ones, because they have these canals in them that actually hold air and help keep them buoyant. That's that Vishibia, Ovada or something. The watermelon Vishibia in there. Kids, look at this dendrobium. I only know how to recognize dendrobium, so I keep pointing them out. This one is also an obsidian. <laughs> we have variegated ficus triangularis. Let me show you the leaves. Look at the magnolia flowers. These. Oh wow, they're all in bloom. So beautiful. Wow, look at this flower. Wow. Look at this anthurium. My husband wanted to point these ones out. These highly textured plants are one of his favorites. I think they might be some type of apicia, but I'm actually not sure. I think these might be related to pilea, because I know that these little flowers are sort of like how the pilea cauteri, the aluminum plant, grows.
this little Talanzia display here. You know, this Talanzia eucinoides is actually Spanish moss. It's a type of Talanzia air plant. It's not actually moss. Oh my God, is this spiral ginger? Is this why they call it spiral ginger? Because it's in a spiral? I could be totally wrong about that. Oh yeah, I wanted to come look at this one plant. See if it had a tag. Unsure. Does anyone know what kind of orchid that is? Wow, look at how long this one's flower spikes are. Can I touch the tag? I wanna know what it is. Schlumbergia? I don't know what that is. these blooms show you in there this orchid looks like look at how big those pseudo bulbs are huge pseudo bulbs look at this huge variegated alocasia look at those variegated stems and the new leaf wow it's super big Super big. I'll show you. Wow. And then this one, I mean. <laughs> this this is moss pole, orchid pole goals. Some of them are in bloom. These interesting square pseudo bulbs. Okay, look at this philodendron nugosum. It's got this, this leaf texture that's sort of similar to like the birkin sometimes. Those chunky new leaves. And then this is some type of so weird how the flowers develop in the leaf crack. It is a Pleurothallis, I was right. <laughs> Pleurothallis gargantua, I'd say so. It is quite large. Look, this must be some type of Peperomia Piperaceae family or something, based on those flowers. Look at these huge fan palm leaves, wow. Those are so large. Okay, spotted. Look at this giant spent flower. What did that come from? Wow. Look at those aerial roots.
Spotted Pink Princess Glit Engine. This one's growing small leaves down here too. It's not just yours at home. <laughs> okay, look at the leaf on this Aurelia. Let's see, it's a Trevisia palmata. But look, look at the look at the leaves on it. They're so weird. They have this like middle section, and then the leaf like attaches. It's very interesting compound leaf form. Wow, is this some kind of calavia or something? And then this is philodendron speciosum. Where is that? Is that the philodendron speciosum? Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> it is the plant that's all the way up there. Okay, so. I'm like down here looking for the little philodendron because the sign is right over there. But yeah, those are the leaf scars. So those, so those leaves up there are philodendron speciosum leaves. You know, I actually think that based on that growth habit though, that makes this plant a thematophyllum. I bet that it has been reclassified since and they have not updated their signage because that's the same type of growth pattern you see on the thematophyllum by Pematophytum, the formerly philodendron cellulum, and it largely has to do with that type of growth. So I'm not sure if that's part of it, but I wouldn't be surprised. You, you can't even tell in the video the scale of those leaves. They're so big. They, they're probably like the size of a bed. Spotted. My husband just found the elbow. Yeah. I don't think they do. Yeah, I don't think they used to have one. Very nice. Let's see how big it is. It's pretty big. Guess I see elbow leaves back there. So you see guys, even in an ideal environment, the elbow leaves still look like that. So it's just like, it's just part of plant life, having having partially damaged plants, you know. This one's hurting. <laughs> My husband in with the plant critique. He said this one's reverting. I see it is. See this one has some variegation here. And this next leaf does not. But that's okay. You know what that means? It's not getting enough light in this location, I think. It's actually in a very low light spot. Oh, this is a variegated banana tree. I didn't even notice that leaf. See? Oh my God, the leaf yeah, look. Oh wow, let's see if I can try to show it. Um, you are spotting all the good plants. Variegated banana. Oh no. Just got this right around my eye. I realize that there's an even bigger variegated banana here. Wow, look how big it is. Wow. Okay. We can make our way into here. This is the potted plant room. Anthurium. This phylum. Do you smell the smells in here from the flower? Oh, interesting. Look at this pitcher plant. This is the blooms. These are the blooms on the pitcher plant. 
the vanilla here. There's Catlia. Hulbophila Medusa. <laughs> Tiny little mushroom. Oh, that fan is derp. Monstera Juvia. Oh, is it? Is it a Monstera Juvia? It's in there, it's so small. Okay, look at this oddity. Luco Nepteris Fumilla. Is this part of the plant? Look at that, how weird that is. It's got this weird, like, do you even call that a rhizome? I'm not sure. Like a spreading bulb thing. It looks like it's maybe got spores or leaves, so I'd say it's some type of fern or fern ally, but I have no idea what that is. Very cool and weird and kind of gross. Look at all these maiden hair ferns. Even the maiden hair ferns here in the conservatory are having some die off. <laughs> it's not you, it's the plant. The little shop used to be here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Is this one of those, um, this is one of those plants that it's like such a giant plant that this is literally one single leaf. It is, it's a Titan Arum leaf. It makes a very enormous stinky flower that smells like death. <laughs> Look, I just noticed that there's a little self-service plant shop here. Let's see. We've got some peperomias and some Tradescantia fuminensis. Oh, I think I have to buy one of these. Yeah. Maybe gonna get one of those little nepenthes. Look at how cute they are. And some little button ferns, orchids, maiden hair ferns. Look at these little platycerium. Platycerium superbum, is that different than the normal bifurcatum? Can I touch this? This is a special type of staghorn fern that I have to buy. Okay guys, I think I have to get this. It's a different type of staghorn fern. I'm picking this one over this one because this one is floppy and this one is firm and has new growth. Yay. Here's another leaf of the Amorphophallus titanum. I'm just obsessed with my little staghorn fern, just carrying this all around with me. These look like succulents, but they're growing on the water. Oh, look at this big Diffenbachia back here. 
looks like these plants have some kind of something going on with them. They're all, um, it looks like they've got some kind of rust. Wow, these leaves are so big. Can you hold my little fern for a second? Thank you. So I'm gonna show the scale of these leaves. Guys, I need to brush up on my philodendrons. I can't remember what, what any of these are called. I feel like I should I should know them all. This one is like the Soderoy. Did I say that already? It's like the one that's like the giant Brantianum. And then this is like a Gloriosa. Another little Bulbophyllum. You know, it's kind of cool in this, this room. I realize my Bulbophyllums might be a little bit too hot in the little greenhouse I have them in. Oh, look at that. Weird staghorn fern. Oh, and then yeah, look at this is the vanilla orchid you see growing on there. I'm pretty sure. Orchid of commerce. It is. That is a. Ficus deltoidea, which I have a small one of at home. Shaclara boricola. Hoyas. This is a uh, Hoya lanceolata and Hibatusa. Okay, guys, look at the scale of this. So, this is, guess what? A Pacura aquatica. It's a money tree, and look at how big it is. This is huge and unbraided. These are leaves from a different plant, but these are the, the money tree leaves, which probably look a little more familiar. They're all the way over here. So you can see how big this plant gets when it's given room to grow. And imagine how stunted it would be if it had been braided up with some other plants. Look at the huge, I think that's a variegated ginger. Calathea warskowesii, where is it? Is this it? Yes. Oh no. Okay, see, when I see this, this makes me feel less bad about mine. Even in in simulated nature in the conservatory of flowers, the Calathea warskowesii is having a rough time, you see? So don't feel bad if you've got one of those Calatheas and it has some brown edges because this is what we're working with. I'm mainly saying this defensively about my Calathea. <gasps> Hooray, super fun. Some more ginger. I really feel like the, the all the ginger plants really popped me this, this time too. All right, everyone, that was the San Francisco Conservatory of Flowers. It's been really fun. It's like a whole jungle environment in here. I hope it was fun for you to go on a little tour. This was so much fun for me. I've been dying to get back in here, so I'm really glad that I got a chance to take a look at everything and to show you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye. You're coming home with me. Say bye to where you were raised. away in my pocket because it's kind of cold out.